Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding. My name is Tarek Elgindi with the Mr. Olympia. This weekend we had three events that qualified athletes to the Mr. Olympia. The first one was the Palmetto Classic in South Carolina where Benquil Marini wins his third consecutive event. Third consecutive event. This guy is on fire. He will not be denied. If you wanna make sure the industry does not ignore you at the Mr. Olympia, you just continue to win shows. And Benquil Marini is just on fire winning shows everywhere in the country. Congratulations, young man. There's nothing else you can do. You are doing a great job. In addition to that event, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we had the Mid-USA Pro Classic Physique, where Camilo Diaz wins his qualification for the Olympia. Camilo Diaz is a bodybuilder. He competed at the Cal Pro. He competed in Brazil. I've seen this guy in many pro bodybuilding events. And he finally finds his place in the classic physique. That's where he belonged the whole time. His classic lines, his conditioning. He even grew a mustache. This man is classic all the way. I'm very happy for him. He found his category and now he'll be at the Mr. Olympia. Guys, we as judges, we tell you, don't pick the category. Let the category pick your body. There's a guy that turned pro as a bodybuilder and now he's in classic. His name is Chris Bumstead. There was a lady that started in bikini. She won the figure Miss Olympia. Her name was Latoria Watts. There was another girl that won the figure uh, regional show and then she went on to bikini and she won the Miss Olympia bikini. Her name was Angelica Teixeira. Don't pick the category. Let you, the category pick your body. In California, we had the Cal Pro, Charles Griffin, Mohamed Shaban, Antonio Burton. The three of them finished in the top three. Antonio Burton just turned pro a few years back at the USA as a light heavy. This guy has a lot of space to grow. If he continues to bring the conditioning, he has density and he grows about 15 to 20 pounds gradually, he can make an impact. This guy has genetics that not too many people have it. So watch out for Tonio Burton. I'm also gonna talk to you about Mohamed Shaban. Those flaring quads are, might be just some of the best in the pro league. You know, he has a small waist. From the front, he's just pretty to look at. If he comes in just a little bit sharper from the back, this man is really hard to beat. So Mohamed Shaban should continue to compete just like Charles Griffin took second and continue to battle. So I know Mohamed will probably make to the Olympia. He's one of the top 10 at the last Mr. Olympia. He might be there this year as well. We're talking about Charles Griffin. Charles Griffin said, mark my words, I'll be at the Mr. Olympia. His conditioning was great. Charles has this posing with aggressiveness. He wants to win, he's confident. But I'm gonna go back to his midsection, okay? Charles fixed this. It was an issue a few years back and he went back and he fixed it. Once he fixed his midsection, his entire body now flows better, okay? You can see the lats coming out. The insertions look a lot more powerful. The quads and the conditioning looks crisp on the midsection. He did his homework. He got better. It wasn't just about gaining size. It was about polishing a physique. Congratulations, Charles Griffin. I will see you at the Mr. Olympia. Yeah.